Over the past year, Kenya has faced post-election violence, drought, and the relentless onslaught of HIV and AIDS, as well as consistently high fuel and food prices. Rice is an important staple in Kenya, and demand is growing. Yet the country produces less than a third of what it needs, and relies on imports to make up the difference. So in July 2008, when the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's initiative on soaring food prices launched a project worth 500,000 US dollars, part of the funding was used to revive rice farming. The renovation of an irrigation scheme left abandoned since the 1990s, together with FAO's provision of inputs and training, has brought remarkable results. The farmers harvested on average 35 bags per acre. Previously, they used to harvest 10 to 15 bags per acre. Until last year, the people of Ahero in western Kenya were living in poverty. But by assisting 540 farming families, the FAO project has transformed the whole community of around 20,000 people. There are more jobs now, especially for young people and widows without land of their own. More money is flowing through the local economy, and more rice is available at the markets. Buyers now include the World Food Programme, which bought 40 metric tons of rice as part of their Purchase for Progress initiative, which links low-income farmers with markets. But farmers in Ohara will have to lower their prices if they are to compete on the market. More investments are needed to reduce costs, such as machinery hire and electricity. Power is extremely expensive and is also rationed, sometimes leaving the pumps inactive for days. Mimi. Rice farmer Nelly Odago says that with more support, they could use gravity water and avoid electricity costs for the pump. They could save money and plant other crops like maize. And she adds, since this is one Kenya, then we could feed those who have nothing. The revival of rice farming in Ahero demonstrates how even fairly small investments in agricultural development really do pay off in terms of poverty and hunger reduction. This is a much needed glimmer of hope at a time when drought is killing livestock and withering crops in other parts of the country. But in Ahero, Local farmers are confident that with the right resources, the situation will continue to improve. Uh, as at now, we are trying to reduce poverty. But you can remember, we only harvested last year, and this year, this is the second time. If we can manage to harvest, have a bumper harvest like the other time, then we will be okay. Within five years, Aero will be very much okay. Work for the second rice season has already begun, and with plans to intensify cropping next year with maize, sorghum, mung beans and tomatoes, the rice farmers of Ahero are going from strength to strength.